So, uh, more news from DC, and this is from their animation department. Um, uh, more animated films have been announced as of, t well, actually last night, but I was dead asleep by uh, the time uh, they had announced these, uh, this slew of animated films. So, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go through them real quick, because there was four, two of them, I think, well, one of them we already knew, three that were recently, uh, that were just announced. So the first one, of course, is Reign of the Superman, which is the sequel to Death of Superman. Um, alright, that's cool. Um, I guess. Um, anyway. Uh, yeah. Nothing new about that one. The other ones that were announced were Wonder Woman Bloodlines, which is the finally a second animated Wonder Woman film. Finally. Friggin' finally. And just in time for Wonder Woman 2! I guess DC's like, hey, we don't need to do DC films centered around just Superman and Batman. Yay! Um, this is also going to be, like, a loose adaptation of the, uh, from what I, from what the article said, I could be wrong here, but from what the article said, it's going to be a loose adaptation of the first volume of, um, of, uh, Brian Azzarello's Wonder Woman run, which I'm not the biggest fan of. Which I wasn't really feeling. I know that's a that's a beloved run, but me personally, I just couldn't get into it. That's just me, though. If you liked it, totally fine. Um, next up is J Justice League versus the Fatal Five. Now, if you don't know who the Fatal Five are, they're pretty much like five villains from the future who were Legion villains, essentially. So I'm guessing this is going to be a Legion story. I'm pretty sure this is going to be a Legion of Superhero story with the Justice League. Um, so that's going to be cool. Which I'm. I, yeah, I really like that um, we're getting some more Legion stuff, which I'm always down for. Um, you know, it's so funny, you know, real quick, it's so funny. I don't follow Legion of Superheroes religiously, but when they show up, I get all giddy. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I was just like, ooh, the Legion of Superheroes are here. So, that's how I kind of am right now with this, um, which I find, it's, it's funny. I, this is just, I find that funny. But yeah, so our final one, and this is the one that was getting the most buzz, is Batman Hush. Batman Hush is getting an animated uh, film adaptation. Which, alright, took two volumes. I don't know if this is going to be... I, they actually didn't say, again from the article, that this would be a two-part film. So I guess, the, and which is weird because, yeah, this is a 12-part story. I doubt you're going to be able to put everything in an hour. Well, they've been making these films longer, so... I guess, um, I guess they can make this a little, like, maybe they could squeeze in as much as they can, but still, I feel like this is, this should be, like, a two-part film. This feels, feels like it needs to be a two-part film. But yeah, Batman and Hush, I know people say, like, oh, Batman Hush is one of the most essential Batman stories. Is it, though? Is it really? Let's be honest here, guys. Aside from, you know, Jim Lee's art, in this comic, no one remembers this book other than this gave us posters for, um, this gave us, like, cool-looking posters for Batman. That's, that's literally what we remember this for. You don't, we don't give a shit about Hush, we don't give a shit about, I can't even remember the whole storyline half the time. It's just so boring. But yeah, we just remember, let's, let's be honest with ourselves here, people. Um, we just remember Batman Hush for just being Jim Lee's art. That's what we mainly remember it for, right? And I'm not saying that's bad. I like, you know, Jim Lee's on point in this book. But point being is that that's what we mostly remember from that book. Um, and yeah, the Catwoman, the Batman and Catwoman stuff, but even then. Uh, the other thing that I... Uh, and I'll, Yeah, this is like Jeff Loeb's not one of his best stuff. If you want to talk about, like, what should have been a ad a movie adaptation, if you want to talk about Batman stuff, I'm still waiting for ha Long Halloween. Why have we gotten Long... We had to get Hush first, and maybe if Hush does well, maybe they'll do Long Halloween next, and then follow it up with Dark Victory. That'd be neat. That'd be really neat. Um, I think that would be a uh, cool thing to do, is just do... Yeah, just have uh, Long Halloween. That's a re that's like a f excellent Jeff Lowe Batman story. Great artwork. Um, and again, but the problem is, is that I doubt, and I know I'm talking about artwork, but the main thing is, is that DC and the DC animated films just no longer give a shit in trying to copy the artwork. So they don't even bother. So they're uh, why am I even bringing this up? They're not even going to bother to try to mix the, which I doubt would be really. 
which I doubt is would be easy for Jim, trying to copy Jim Lee's artwork, but still. Um, and the other thing is that um, the other thing is and I, I lost my point. I'm sorry. Um, the other thing is, like I said, that the art, the art's going to be a little difficult to copy, which I doubt they'll do. And yeah, I'm wondering how much of the story, because again, it's a 12 part story, and we mostly remember. And yeah, um, the Jason, uh, the oh yeah, now I remember what my original point was. I'm sorry, my brain just f crapped out on me for a second. The other point I wanted to make is: is this going to be its own standalone story, or is this going to be part of their DC animated film? totally not 52 anymore pseudo rebirth kind of movie universe like they did with death of superman where they put it in universe the same with judas contract is hush going to be the same way or is it going to be an out of canon story and just be its own thing that's what i'm curious about is yeah are we going to is it going to be its own thing or part of this universe because if it's part of this universe that's going to be a little confusing that is going to be a little confusing the other thing is of course um the other thing, and of course we remember the Jason Todd thing that got retconned in uh, Red Hood, but um, you know, I was like, no, it was Clayface the whole time. No, it was Jason. So I'm wondering if they're going to bring that up and actually like maybe change it. They'll like, no, it's Jason the whole time, or they'll keep the Clayface thing. Don't know um, with uh, what they'll do. I'm hoping they keep the Riddler twist. I'm really hoping they keep the uh, the, the Riddler twist, because that was actually one of the shining moments for that book. That was one of the shining moments uh, at the end, was Batman facing off that, yeah, Riddler was the one who did all this at the end. So, yeah, I would I would very much like to see that be the uh, the, the main foe, the, uh, the, like, the good crescendo to the story. And if you like Bat, if anyone else watching this likes Batman Hush, that's totally fine. No ill will against you. Me personally, I'm just like, eh, it's, it's nothing. It's nothing big. I don't. I think people. Oh, uh, you know. I think people. I think nowadays people are like, eh, Hush is all right. It's got good artwork. But yeah, Hush is not a fantastic story. Let's let's be real here. So anyway, guys, uh, you guys tell me in the comments below. What did you? What do you guys think of these Bat of the uh, Batman Hush getting a movie adaptation? Do you think it's going to be in universe or out? Do you think they're going to have to cut some stuff down? Um, and also, what do you think of the other DC animated films? What do you think of Wonder Woman: Bloodlines, Justice League uh, versus Fatal Five, and Reign of the Superman? Uh, just comment below. Let me know. And once again, hope you all enjoyed this, and I will see you guys later.